Hi dears, today I will show you how to prepare 0.1 normal HCl solution. So let's proceed to see how 0.1 normal solution can be prepared. Uh, so this is the definition of normality, uh, number of gram equivalents of substance divided by volume of solution in liter. Since uh, number of gram equivalents of substance is uh, equal to, here you can see gram equivalent is equal to weight of the substance divided by equivalent weight. I will show you later on what is meant by equivalent weight. So if we um, insert the gram equivalent uh, value over here in this equation, then we get this equation number one. So normality is equal to weight of the substance divided by equivalent of the substance into volume of solution in liter. Uh, as uh, I have discussed uh, that what is meant by equivalent weight so here I have given uh, a few examples of equivalent weights of, uh, uh, of some of the substances let's look at those this is H2SO4 which is an acid first two examples belong to acid Sec and third one is that of a base and um, fourth and fifth belong to um, salts and the last one is that of an oxidizing agent in case of uh, acids, uh, equivalent weight uh, mean that uh, a molar mass of the substance uh, divided by ionizable hydrogen ions in case of acids. So in case of H2SO4, we have two ionizable hydrogen. So 98 divided by 2, we would get 48, 48 gram. Uh, similarly, in case of HCl, we know there is only one ionizable hydrogen. So its molar, molar mass um, would be uh, equal to its equivalent weight. So no difference between the two. In case of uh, bases, uh, equivalent weight uh, is equal to molar mass uh, divided by the uh, number of ionizable hydrogen, so uh, ionizable hydroxyl ion. So in this case, we have just one ionizable hydroxyl ion. So 40 divided by 1, we would get equivalent weight of a base of 40. In this particular case, NaOH. In case of uh, salts, uh, equivalent weight uh, is uh, equal to uh, formula mass um, divided by uh, the number of uh, positive ions over the metal. So um, positive charges over the metal. So in case of calcium, we have plus two charge. Um, so triple one divided by two, we would get 55.5. In case of NaCl, this is sodium and sodium had plus one charge. So um, it would be divided by one and the equivalent weight will be the same. And in case of oxidizing agents, we will have to see uh, to which particular substance it would get converted into uh, after reaction. In most of the cases, potassium permanganate gets converted into manganese dioxide. So we will look at the oxidation state of manganese in this particular case and the substance to which it has converted to. And uh, in case of a potassium permanganate, uh, the, the difference in oxidation state comes out to be uh, plus 5. So uh, we would divide the molar mass by 5 and equivalent weight would be 31.6. Again, I would like to discuss this particular case. Potassium permanganate, has, uh, its molar mass has been divided by 5. This is because the difference in oxidation state of potassium permanganate and manganese, ox manganese dioxide why manganese dioxide? Because potassium permanganate converts into manganese dioxide. So difference of uh, oxidation state comes out to be 5 and we would divide its molar mass by 5 and uh, this is the equivalent weight. Uh, let's see normality. Normality is equal to weight of the substance uh, divided by equivalent weight of substance into volume of solution in liter. Since we are discussing the case of HCl, we know that HCl is a, a solution and it is easier for us to, as I have written, now here is an issue and the issue is we don't weigh out the solution of HCl, rather we make normal solution by taking a specific volume of the acid and dissolving it in solvent. In order to sort this out, we rearrange the equation number three. This equation, which, which is the last one, has been rearranged and uh, we have got this new equation. In this new equation, you can see normality, okay. normality into equivalent weight into volume of solution in liters. So this is how we would get weight of substance is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume in liters. Now, the, now here is a problem, and the problem is um, we don't weigh out HCl 
solution we actually take volume of the solution we made out volume of the solution so in order to convert this weight into volume we proceed we know that mass or weight is equal to volume in density volume into density so we can uh, put this into our last equation and here we get this new equation volume into density normality into equivalent weight weight into volume in liters so density would go down here is a volume again we have a problem over here and the problem is we don't <clears throat> here's a, another problem waiting us and that is we don't have any hundred percent hc solution with us hcl that is always there in the lab is only 37 percent of the solution 37 percent solution not hundred percent solution so we we will have to include this factor into our equation number five as well <clears throat> so here we have included 37 percent volume so after uh, a little rearrangement this 100 would come towards this side, 37 would be would go into division, and here is volume. Volume is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume in liters into 100 divided by density into 37. So just plug in the value right now. We have plugged in all the values, normality, equivalent weight, etc. And we got this 8.3 ml of HCl solution. 8.3 ml of 37% HCl solution. What, so how we would prepare now? We would uh, measure out this 8.3 ml and we would um, uh, place it in a flask of 1 liter. In a flask of 1 liter. Yes, we have uh, written over here volume in liters. And if you are making your solution not in liter, for example, you are making your solution in 500 ml, then you must convert that figure into liter. So just measure out 8.3 ml and place into 1 liter flask and um, uh, rest. Uh, uh, um, and the rest of the bottle would be filled with distilled water and your solution is ready.